Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to walk you through a certain type of adjusting journal entry, and that is the one related to unearned revenue. All right, unearned revenue is a type of deferral, okay? In the original journal entry, and you'll see this with deferrals, there's always an original journal entry, and then there's the adjustment to be made later, which is the adjusting journal entry. In the original journal entry of an, of a, of a, of an unearned revenue, you receive cash, but you record it as a liability because services haven't been performed yet. So this looks like this. It looks like debit cash because somebody paid you ahead of time, credit unearned revenue, and that's a liability. You owe someone a service that will come later. Once you have performed the service, then you get to adjust the entry or record what we call the adjusting journal entry. The adjusting journal entry either decreases if done in part or removes if done in full the liability and records the actual revenue. So basically, once you've done the job, you get to record this. Debit unearned rev. The liability goes away. That's this right here, right? And credit actual revenue. So notice what happens here is you're getting cash and ultimately you're earning money for that cash. But in between the two, you've got this delayed period where you still owe someone the service. So the initial journal entry is cash, record a liability. The adjusting entry that comes later removes the liability, records the actual revenue. Where do you commonly see this? Well, you commonly see this if you rent property. You are the landlord, okay? You will collect rent payment on the first of the month, but then you have to let somebody stay there for 30 days. So it's not really revenue the day you get it. It's revenue once you've allowed the tenant to stay. Selling a subscription. Usually subscriptions get paid for ahead of the delivery of the service, right? So you've collected the subscription money from your customer. Then you have to actually deliver the subscription to them. Um, taking a deposit on a future sale or taking a payment on a future service. Either way, customer has given you money up front and then you are going to deliver later. So here's an example to walk you through. On October 2nd, Flyercore receives a $1,200 advance for three consulting sessions to be provided at a later date. When the books close on October 31st, so books close simply means um, the period has ended and we need to make sure revenue and expense winds up in the proper period. When the books close on October 31st, the company notes that it has already performed one of the sessions. So if we think about it in terms of what was the entry that was recorded on October 2nd, we received a cash advance, so debit cash, cash in for $1,200. And we owe someone three services. Those services are worth $1,200. Now, notice we didn't specify how much is each service worth specifically. And so we can just assume that they are equal, 1,200 divided by three services, 400 each, okay? But that's an assumption because we weren't given anything else to say otherwise. When the books close on October 31st, and here's when adjusting entries get made. They get made when the books close because you prepare your trial balance and then you say, hmm, is there anything on here we have to fix? And notice, we have $1,200 of unearned revenue sitting on our trial balance, but we know that we've done one of the sessions. We've done $400 of that unearned revenue already. So on October 31st, we are going to record the adjusting entry. So this is the adjusting journal entry where we are now going to reduce our liability by $400 because we have already performed that. Therefore, it's not a liability anymore. And we are going to record service revenue because this is a service in this case for $400. We have now earned 400 of the 1200 that we have promised. That's your adjusting journal entry. Now, I have a, a hypothetical down here, food for thought. What if the company had not performed the adjusting entry? Well, first of all, your liability would have been overstated on your balance sheet. If we think about the T account for unearned rev, 
We originally put $1,200 in it, and as part of the adjusting entry, we took $400 out, which means on our balance sheet, we're going to show an $800 liability. That reflects the two services that are left $400 a piece. Had we never taken the $400 out, in other words, had we not done the adjusting entry, then we would still be reporting a $1,200 liability on our balance sheet, and that's not accurate. We don't owe anyone $1,200 worth of services at this point. The other thing is our income statement would be too low. Remember, your income statement is revenue minus expense equals net income. Well, we recorded some revenue as part of this adjusting entry. And so had we never recorded that revenue, our net income would be too low because we earned $400 and we wouldn't be reporting it. This is the importance of adjusting entries. It makes sure that your balance sheet is accurate and it makes sure that your revenues and your expenses wind up in the period in which you actually earned them or incurred the cost. All right, that's it for unearned revenue. I hope you join me for more videos on adjusting journal entries and I hope you have a great day.